Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chelsea and I have a planner haul for you today. This is a lot of stickers, stationery, planner items that I've received throughout the rest of June and July. So I don't know if this will be two parts, but let's dig into it. The first order I have is from Paper House Productions. So they have a variety of different types of products in their online store and I found out about them actually through a, they were in the planners collaborative sale um, in one of the recent months and then I saw at another planner haul they were actually having a one dollar sale and then there was a 20 percent off code so I saw that went and started browsing and I just got hooked so the first two things that I got were these magnets I'm a foodie, I love food, I thought these were super, super cute, so I can't decide if these will be in my home office or my work office, but I got sushi and bacon magnets. And then, for those of you who don't know, I recently got engaged in January, and so I am planning a wedding. have no idea what it's going to look like yet in the spirit of all things COVID, but I saw these itty bitty stickers and thought they'd be perfect in my planner for marking all kinds of things and then just in the future on cards and stuff for when friends get married. I also found these bookmarks and I knew which planner I already wanted to get for 2021 which is why when I saw these I couldn't pass them up so they're really sturdy just you know fold over magnetic bookmarks which I love. And then I found some cards, which I was really excited about. Getting a card for a buck is just an awesome deal. So there is this scratch and sniff, a chocolate chip cookie birthday card, which is super cute, a baby card, a one-year-old card, and then a happy birthday Harry Potter card. And I just thought I can use all of these. So that was pretty perfect. And then I have been kind of wanting to do a spooky kind of planner setup for a while in my B6TN um, to try and use that with a purpose. So I really love this skull pattern that came on one side. And then on the other side is this super pretty full moon pattern. So it is just like the normal, um, you know, scrapbook paper size, but yeah, so super excited, and um, I'm very happy that I was able to get all of these items at such a great deal. The next shop I have to show you is the Penny Pages. So I ordered, I did one order with a digital download and a physical purchase. So the digital download, well, we'll get to that in a second. The physical purchase that I made came in this super cute envelope. I love that it's her own packaging supposed to there to cover up my address obviously but I love that Penny's on the front just waving hi and then these were the two freebies I believe I ordered during the June planners collaborative sale because the July date is on there as a reminder and then I believe I mentioned my planner friend Caitlin at checkout and so um, this was, I believe this is her freebie with the penny pages. So I'm super excited. I have a variety of pennies to pull into my spreads now. And then the other freebie that I got was this large journaling card that says, thank you. It's got, um, her Instagram and website, her Etsy page. And then on the back, it's just this really nice, cute, big postcard. The two items that I ordered in physical form are penny watering the plants and then these gold foil squiggles her foiling is really really nice and I think these could be pulled into a lot of spreads I just thought it was super cute and then trying to figure out or I was thinking about um, moving into a smaller planner for 2021 and so I purchased these digital inserts this cutting was totally my fault not the shop owners so it just ignore that um so i ordered the weekly inserts a5 size for july august and september so you get a vision board on the first page of your month which i think is a super cool idea i did use this to pre-plan one week that i'm going to skip over and i don't want to show you this week because it like bled through so here you can see what the week 
weekly layout actually looks like, which I think this is really, really cute. It could be really, really functional. But personally, I want more space on the weekends for functionality. I don't like that these are stacked here. So, um, so personally, I don't think this size will work for me. I'm glad that I purchased the inserts before purchasing an actual planner and trying it out um, just to see if it would work. And then on the back of each month, you do get this notes page as well. So that is everything that I got from the penny pages. The next shop I have to show you items from is the Napping Bunny, and I love the packaging, so I just kept it as it came. Baby Yoda, so stinking cute. Um, I took a lot of the rest of the stuff out of cellos, so for anyone who likes to see that, I apologize. So the first thing, I got a thank you card with the Napping Bunny on it, which was super cute. And then there's a little thank you note on the back. And then the freebies that I got, let's see, there's gold paper clip. These are some really cute, oh, cute. They're gold foiled um, on white sticker paper, just relax and lazy day. And they were in this origami heart, which is super cute. And then I got some, I think these are just heart paper clips, but never have enough fun paper clips so yeah cute so I got a rose gold and a gold paper clip as my other freebies so that was super nice I purchased a vinyl decal with my name on it and I think this is going to go into my 2021 planner so I'm very excited about that um, she was also doing a fundraiser, and I apologize, I don't know which organization the funds are going to, but this was a Black Lives Matter organization, so it says say their names, and then a number of um, people of color who were killed uh, recently, um, and just, you know, they deserve justice, remember their names. So I really wanted this as part of my purchase. Um, it was one of the things that I kept coming back to, so I, I don't know that I need to say anything more than that. Um, I purchased these really cute um, summery sunglasses. I don't know if this is vinyl paper. Um, it is matte, but I, I really like the, the feel of the paper. It's really buttery. And then... I just, I thought the stickers from this shop were so unique. Um, I ordered, oh no, okay, I've got a smudge on there. I ordered these hexagons in hollow and gold that I can just pull into any spread. And then these deviled egg checklists, which are adorable. And then this is my first time purchasing real glitter vinyl headers, so. That's pretty exciting. I don't know if I can, oh, there they are. Yeah, so all the colors. And I think it's showing up more blue on camera, but they are definitely more of a teal. So that is everything that I ordered from the Napping Bunny. I'm super excited to get to know this shop more. I feel like she's been coming out with even more new releases even after I've ordered. So thank you so much for the extra freebies and the beautiful things I received. The next shop I have to share with you is Keep It Simple Stickers, one of my favorite, favorite shops. I am a little biased though because I do PR for her. Um, I'll be putting all shop links in the description box down below and for Keep It Simple Stickers especially, I will also have my coupon code it gets you this beautiful foiled freebie. The foil color will be random and the coupon code gets you 25% off every order, um, assuming there's not a sale. If there is a sale, still mention my name at checkout and you can still get this freebie. Um, every month, Jackie, Keep It Simple Stickers, does participate in the planner's collaborative sale. So around the time of my order, she was getting ready to participate in the July TPC sale. Um, 
So on these freebies, they're business card sized and you get a reminder for the next TPC sale, a currently reading box that usually matches um, a recent collection or something that she's just feeling inspired by at the time. And then some of the newest hand drawns. In this case, the newest ones were Lego themed. So those are the top two. And then these are actually some of her Disney hand drawns, which are exclusively on freebies during sales. They are not part of the shop. So super excited that I got more of those. And then this is just um, the June TPC, TPC sale freebie. Wow. Um, that she sent along as well. So similar format. And I just wanted to show you guys how stinking cute this is a little bit, by the way, her hand-drawn, um, one of the hand-drawn characters in her shop with all of his Amazon packages and then some veggies that were also part of a recent hand-drawn release. So those are super cute. I wanted to stock up on some foils that I already have and then get some new foils. So I didn't have any of these purple foiled date dots or these rainbow foil date dots, but they're super pretty. And then I got silver as well as rose gold. So wanted to make sure I had those two in my collection. I got these um, hand-drawn little bit gardening stickers. So you get two sizes. These fit about the size of a half box and these fit about the size of a quarter box. So I really like the variation there. This was part of a uh, collaboration with the Penny Pages. So the Penny Pages released an academic planner. Keep It Simple stickers released a number of hand-drawn icons representing a number of different uh, school disciplines, like different types of classes. So if you go on my Instagram or Keep It Simple stickers Instagram or the Planners Collaborative website or the Keep It Simple stickers Etsy shop, uh, website, you'll be able to see all the different icons. And the amazing thing about these is that you can mix and match any of the icons or you can get just one sheet like I did. So I'm no longer in school, but I am um, I'm a scientist as my job. So I figured I could use these to mark specific things at work. And I was really excited about that. Um, the other thing that I got for summer, which I was really excited about, I love functional stickers. I'm a functional planner at heart, and this is her summer color collection. So I got habit trackers, quarter boxes, and the weekly trackers. And these colors are just stunning. This, this, this blue is my favorite. It's super pretty. Um, I see some of these things I just haven't been able to pick up and realized I didn't have in my collection. She's had these foiled date covers out for a while now and I realized I didn't have a lot in my collection and wanted to order some from her shop so this is the blue colorway with hollow shattered glass foil and then this is the green with silver foil super pretty I love the the script and how dainty it is it's really pretty and then I got three kits I'm just going to squeeze this on over here. I got two PP Weeks kits. This is her coffee hand-drawn kit. So these are the glitter headers that I got. I believe these come a la carte. And then it's a two-page kit. So on this page, there's date covers and a This Week box, some quarter boxes, two sizes of washi, weekend banner, flags, text and script, checklists. And then you get six um, one-and-a-half-inch width full boxes and they're a little bit smaller which I think is perfect for the PP weeks you get some more labels habit trackers week box another tech sticker a coffee sticker yum and then these kiss cut icons which I think are just the perfect size so that was number one kit number one and these are all hand drawns from the keep it simple stickers shop and then I really love this second kit which Oh, I buried it. My freebie matches perfectly with this kit and I'm so excited. It's so pretty. So she chose to go with bow headers for this kit and I love that choice. They're not foiled, but they're really, really pretty and they match the gold accents in the kit. So again, this is two pages. You get the six boxes and then it's the same format as everything else.
I just, I love the colors in this kit and the sloth vibes and just gorgeousness. This next and final item is the Into the Ocean kit. And this is the deluxe version of the kit. On August 17th, we will all be doing, and I hope other people from the Keep It Simple Stickers Facebook group and the Planners Collaborative do this as well. The week of August 17th, we'll be doing a collab with this kit. So if you wanna be in on this planner collab, go ahead, take my coupon code and order this kit so that you can use it in your planner this week. Into the Ocean, August 17th. So we'll do a quick flip through. Again, this is the deluxe listing of the kit, so you can definitely order mini kit size. You can order a la carte sheets if you don't need all of these sheets, but you get four appointment labels on the top of the full boxes sheet. This double box is super pretty. You get three sizes of washi, patterned washi, extra header, three habit trackers, full box checklists, text stickers, half boxes, quarter boxes, three lip checklists, canceled, rescheduled, um, no, extra header, bill do, more text stickers with hand drawns featuring a little bit my fave, and then to do's, today's, littles, sidebar headers, little labels, and then is this the last page? Nope. You get script stickers, kiss cut icons, checklists, weekend banner, flags, movie marquee bill do, week boxes, and then you get glitter adders, <laughs> date, do um, date dots, and then date covers. So tons to work with in this kit. I'm super excited to do a collab with Jackie and Caitlin and whoever else decides to plan along with us. So come plan with us. The next shop I have to show you is Chic Street Sticker Boutique. I have never ordered from this shop before. This was an order on a whim. I have seen people use her stickers for the longest time, have been obsessed with her foil, never purchased, thought misfit grab bags would be the best way to do so. They might not even be misfit, I can't remember. I just, I saw foil grab bags and thought it was a good opportunity to order from the shop. So I'll show you what I ended up with. We'll do little sheets first. So I got this set of, there's three sets of hollow foiled date dots on clear sticker paper. This says love and hip hop. Oh, some are turned upside down so that she could like fit more, which is cool. So those are kind of cute. I guess I had it the right way based on where her name is. These are some really pretty purple foiled clouds on white sticker paper. And then these are green hearts with gold foil. Makes my my Packer, my Wisconsin Green Bay Packer loving heart happy. So I really like these. Um, and then these orange post-it notes are super cute. I love the foil in them. And then I got a ton of variety of stickers. I'm so excited. So I got these glitter um, or these hollow yeah, I guess there is glitter in the background. So there's like a glitter border and then there's, I think, a gold hollow foil around the border as well. Really pretty. I got a variety of these rainbow hollow foiled post-its. And then I think this is like, oh, I don't know what the name is for this, but it's like kind of green and purple and steely almost like a dark rainbow or something like that. But so anyway, it looks like the same sheet, but with a different foil, which I really like. I got these red foil post-its, which there are some, um, some different blemishes on some of them, but for the most part, a lot of these stickers are fine to use, which is what I love about grab bags. And then there's another like yellow and orange post-it sheet. These are the ones that I've just never had the guts to like outright purchase. But now that I have them, I'm hoping that I will just find ways to use them more. And then I got this sheet that is foiled as part of a kit, which is super pretty. So there's a Monday through Sunday box, some checklists, some headers, and then some full boxes. And then I think I ended up, so, I'll show you this next. So this is all full boxes that are foiled in silver foil. And then I think I ended up with a mini kit. 
So these seem to match pretty well to me. And there's no foil on these, but there's full boxes, a Monday through Sunday box, checklists, headers, and then bottom washi flags, weekend banner, some more check boxes, quarter boxes, some squiggles, half boxes, checklists, some scripts, and then a bunch of post-its. So I could easily fill that in and I just, I feel like I won the jackpot with a little, little mini kit thrown in there. So I think this is an awesome way to try out new shops and I'm super excited to play with all of my new foiled goodies from Chic Street Stickers. The next shop I have to show you was also in my last haul, but she had a sale and some new releases and she just had some awesome freebie opportunities. So I got right on in there. So I placed an order again from Sweet Fox Papery. This is her cute little thank you postcard. She's a second grade teacher. And so I love when shop owners provide, you know, some background about how this, what this um, business allows them to do. So that was very sweet. And then let's see, I joined her Facebook group, which I'm super excited that I learned about. And I got three different freebies with my order. My order was randomly selected for a grab bag. And then I got a mini kit and a free medium size sheet. So this is the medium size or the small sheet that I got um, and it's glitter headers, which are always super functional. This is the mini kit that I got, so it's called Moonchild. I really, really like the mushrooms and the moth. This artwork is super pretty. I really love this, and I love all the deco with it and the owls. Got me with the owls. And then I, by joining her Facebook group, I would, I put my order number in a, you know, a comments reel and by placing an order, I think on 4th of July weekend, I was entered into a raffle for a grab bag. Now, I found a really cool video on Emily's YouTube channel where she takes a whole bunch of grab bags and she shows you how to make a weekly spread um, in a bullet journal with stickers that she pulled together randomly. So I'm hoping that will give me some inspo using stickers from this grab bag along with others in my collection. It was really fun to watch and I'll just flip through these real quick so you can see the variety of stickers that I got. So I got these full boxes that are um, like Thanksgiving themed. I got some full box checklists. I got a number of these functional pages from different kits. So this is from her Wildflower, um, which she does have an exclusive like box with this clip art that is for sale right now um, as part of that collection. Um, Birdie Bliss. This is a, another unique page. There's some smaller strips of washi. I don't know if this is a different kit format, but um, I think it's really, really cute. Here's another one of those functional pages again, a page with headers, icons, weekend banner, another functional page, full boxes. So a little bit of everything in my grab bag. So thank you so much, Emily, for throwing that into my order. And then this is actually what I ordered. So I got a, almost, pretty much as many freebies as what I ordered. So the first thing that I ordered were more date covers. I mentioned I, um, I, I, I'm needing some of these just in general in my collection. So I got these dark gray date covers and I think they're super pretty. And then I ordered two kits. I love her date covers. So that's what got me on this one. It's called Inhale. And I love the quote box. It says, Inhale Confidence, Exhale Doubt. And I think she just reformatted. So this is, I believe, I think that's the reason why she had these grab bags is because she totally reformatted all of the kits in the shop. So this is her reformatted layout. So you get eight full boxes, a bunch of, you get eight half boxes, eight quarter boxes, and then these little itty bitty, itty, little itty bitty boxes is what I was trying to say. They're like header size. So that's perfect for me. And then you can make your own headers, which is super cool. She's got the scripts 
and then different patterns. Really pretty. I love that these are separate scripts as well. Some habit trackers, weekend banner, week boxes, two strips of washi, and a whole bunch of deco. So this was really pretty. I, I couldn't pass it up. And then this one, it's food related and it has a dog. So enough said. So this one I'm very excited to be using in the fall. It's got pumpkin pie date covers, which are super cute. Live life like someone let the gate open. I just, I love this dog. He's so stinking cute. It makes me think of how happy my puppy is. So don't know exactly when I'll use this, but it's got spiders and pumpkins and pumpkin pie. So I'll have to find the right time. Um, but it is the same format as well love the weekend banner and I just love the colors so much it's so pretty so super excited thank you so much Emily for your generosity and for all of the beautiful things that you've been putting out in the shop you're an enabler all right so the last thing that I am super excited to show you is my 2021 planner so what I did this year for 2020 was I purchased an 18 month spiral planner from Recollections. And I did that because I didn't really like some of the new things that Erin Condren had done with their planners in terms of the formatting on the inside. Um, and so I had done that on my own um, last year. Um, I made that decision around Black Friday. And then I saw this planner recently on Michael's and I decided to go ahead and purchase it because I didn't want to get to Black Friday, which is usually when I buy my planners. I usually still buy online, so I don't get the mega in-store discounts. Um, and I just, when I saw it, I knew that I wanted to have it. So it is a shaker that might get annoying over time, but I just think it's so stinking cute. It says shine like the stars. Purple is my favorite color. I love the hollow foil. It's so cute. So I'll do a quick flip through. I might try and do a setup video at some point. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I like how on the inside this is blank, but still very much fits the theme. You get this little pocket, which is nice. I've used this to store a couple sticker sheets. I don't know if I will keep that in there this year. I like that there are quotes on some of the pages but for the most part they're pretty blank um you get so this planner does start in july of 2020 they give you mini calendars starting in january of 2020 which is kind of nice and then they go all the way through december 2021 so what i will end up doing is taking out a, a lot of these pages um, before January of 2021 most likely. I might start in December if I want to memory keep anything like with Christmas and New Year's, um, but I will probably take the pages out to make extra room for stickers and anything like that. So, but I still really like that you get the full two years in these mini calendars. You get a blank notes page and then they include these stickers which are really nice I've been trying to use them more so um, this is kind of the color palette for the planner which they had another planner I was looking at that had a more neutral color palette that I'm a little disappointed I didn't get but I chose the cover over the inside color palette because I can always change this and I tend to anyway if I'm using stickers so these are the stickers that you get um, Sorry, I'm not totally in frame. I'm still getting used to using the my tripod and camera setup, but and then you get like a whole bunch of emojis and icons, which is nice. You do get this pocket, which is usually where I keep the kit that I'm planning with for the week and then maybe the week after. And then this is what each one looks like. So um, this one is blank and just has a pattern. I'll show you a couple others that have quotes. This is the monthly setup. So the sidebar is on the left this year. It was on the right, so that's different. Um, 
it, I, I'm saying it is on the right in the 2020 planners, or at least in the 18 month planner that I had. So I don't know why they changed that. The one thing I do really, really like is that this is much smaller. So if I white out and put a date cover over it, um, I might not even need to white out. Right now, the number sticks up pretty high so that if I white out and want to put a date cover down, I usually need to put washi over the top to see it. So I like that. Honestly, the paper feels different and I don't know why, but I will figure that out when I do a pen test. Um, but I, I really, other than that, the layout hasn't changed much. This is a little bit different. I feel like it's a little bit brighter. Um, which I'm not complaining about. I overall continue to like the format of the Recollections Planner. Um, and then at the end of each month, you do get a blank notes page. So here's what the August dashboard looks like. And the colors do change. They don't seem to link up like August is purple and yet the colors are green. So I don't know why that doesn't match, but I'm not gonna ask questions. Okay, so here's one with a quote that says, keep chasing your dreams. Here's October, November, December has a quote. January is just pretty polka dots. February, that's pretty. March, April, live boldly. So I like the way they mix it up. I like the color palette overall. Like I said, I really love the cover. That's that's what sucked me in. Um, just the fact that it was shiny, not necessarily that it's a shaker. And then when we get to the back here, you get like 10 notes pages or something like that. So you get the back of what would be your December notes page, we'll call it. And then you get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay, you get 16 pages. And then this is the back cover. I like that it matches the front. And then this is not a shaker, but it's still really, really pretty. So there you go. I am super excited. And um, let me just show you how perfect is that going to be? I'm so excited. So excited. All right. Well, thank you for sticking with me through. I'm just going to leave that. It's just going to come off in a minute. Thank you for sticking with me through this haul. I'm super excited to show you the setup of my planner in the future, show you these other stickers and um, future plan with me's. If you like this video, hopefully you'll be back soon and you can check out some of my other content. Bye.